Source Hardware News. Um, happy birthday, SparkFun. SparkFun is celebrating their 20th anniversary. Wow. They have a sale going on. And uh, you know us. Uh, Check them out. Support them. You know us. We link to everyone. We send everyone to everyone's website that we don't consider folks competitors. Everyone's doing open source hardware. We had um, Nate and Alicia on Ask an Engineer. I looked up because I'm like, oh, when, when was the last time they were on the show? Uh, about 10 years ago. This is uh, when, when we were... When it was Riker Phil. Yeah, this is <laughs> Riker Rik Phil. There was a transporter accident. Um, but then I was thinking... Um, I wonder what uh, open source hardware um, that SparkFun and Adafruit have been doing together. Like, what what percentage are we yeah, together? Yeah, we're doing a lot. So all together for open source hardware projects, um, there's one thousand nine hundred and fifty one total. Yes. And then, yeah, completely, yeah. Yeah, and if you look, SparkFun has four hundred and five. Yeah. Adafruit has 540. When you do the math, these two companies together are about half of all of open source hardware. But here's what I like. It's not over half, which means the majority of open source hardware is not from us. There's other people yeah. doing it, which is good because it would be a real, I mean, it would be the worst thing if we were like 95%, but I'm really glad that it isn't just us. It's a community of people yeah. working together. We're all um, doing the Oshawa certification uh, online and, um, it's just working out. So check it out. Happy anniversary. Um, Adafruit isn't 20 years old. We'll be there eventually and probably sooner than we think. But it's cool to see another open source hardware company doing it and also publishing their files and certifying their hardware and keeping the values going. There's not a lot of us out there. There's only a few left. So thank you. Support all yes. the open source hardware and companies. Especially this year because um, a lot of companies really, really su struggled, struggled and suffered, struffled. Um, over the last two years, um, we saw many companies... This has been tough. You know, either they've closed or they've really had to downsize quite a bit because if you can't ship hardware for two years, um, your cash flow takes a big hit. And uh, it was challenging for Adafruit. I'm sure it was challenging for SparkFun as well. Um, like I said, I sort of see a glimmer of hope. Um, you know, parts that have been out of stock and unavailable for two years are suddenly... Uh, becoming available again, where our, our stock in stock numbers are the highest they've been in you know about a year, um, but it's been it was it was a struggle, it was a slog. We definitely went through the what was it from the Princess Bride like the Forest of Tears or something. And, yeah, it's been yeah. it's been really tough on everyone. So um, you know, support open source hardware companies. Um, Sparkfun's one of them. Adafruit's one of them. Um, the numbers are there. This is the two companies that are that are trying to do their best. Uh, sharing and helping to get the next generation of engineers out there. Whew.